We are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. After traveling the world with a truck camper, we returned to Italy when the pandemic hit. We converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels in only five weeks. After visiting the Amalfi Coast and Tuscany, this week we are back to Lucky Land, our property in the mountains in Piedmont, and we are going to build a new shed. Not easy with a weather like this. This rain is ruining everything. It's impossible to work like this. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu, live everything in wonder. And welcome back to Lucky Land. Uh, I'm Luca, she's Sara. And today? What we're gonna do today? Today we need to clean uh, all this mess. We will need to rebuild uh, this structure. I think they use it uh, to put chickens inside. Uh, we will build a, a new one. A tool shed, yes. a shed. So today we need to clean everything. Uh, we need to start demolishing, uh, taking yes. this apart. Uh. We arrived at Lucky Land, so the garden was a mess. So we have to clean everything, but every plant is healthy. Everything is growing okay. This is how we found the garden a few days ago. This is how the garden looks like after only a few weeks. forest lavender flowers this plant is getting bigger and bigger every year the first raspberries there is already a huge zucchini here i'm tidying uh, the tomato plants because uh, they will start getting really heavy with all the tomatoes look at this beautiful flower this is a shallot flower Today is a pretty rich day. First, zucchini or artichokes, beetroot. Our lunch focaccia with cheese inside, carrots, fresh artichokes from our garden, some guacamole. Delicious. We first need to remove this net with the protection for the chicken. It's time to work hard, as always. The roof collapsed. Uh, Van Damme. Well done, or Van Damme? <laughs> Both. Oh, nice scorpion here. Bye bye, Ro. Bye bye, old. Old chicken coop. Ok, 
Okay, how big will three the meters trap? Uh, should be three meters. Okay, longer. so it will be till here. So it would be pretty huge. Good job! I need to clean uh, this part. Yeah. Because otherwise this will invade uh, our new shed. The forecast says that it will rain this afternoon. So now we have a break for lunch. We are sweating a lot. But the result is pretty good. We like to show you these flowers. These are Luca's favorite. The color of the flower is so intense because the plant is gray and soft, kind of velvet. And then the color of the flower is just unbelievable. I will make one of my favorite summer dishes. Caprese. I'm using cuore di bue tomatoes. You can use some marzano. You can use the tomatoes that you like. Sicilian extra virgin olive oil and some fresh basil. You can find the caprese recipe and other 27 recipes in our cookbook La Vita è Buona, Life is Good. Purchasing the cookbook you will also help me support an association, ABBA, that is Anorexia and Bulimia. It's an association that is helping people suffering from eating disorders and their families. You know that this is a really important topic to me. Thank you and check out the link in the description box below. So we have our caprese, our elderflower mint drink, Grissini. Sarita made me caprese. Very good. Mm. <laughs> the forecast said at 5 p.m. But it's ready. Luckily we have the gazebo, but all our tools are down there, pouring rain. Good morning beautiful people, today is a new day, yesterday unfortunately started raining super hard, so we decided to go inside and work on the computer. Uh, behind the scenes uh, there are a lot of things that we do especially Sara she's super good on uh, contacting uh, companies and trying to set up collaborations uh, or things like that today Sara is editing is working inside uh, and uh, I will keep working out here first of all I will keep removing uh, that last part uh, that we couldn't uh, take yesterday and then uh, I will start working on the um, surface uh, I will I will create uh, a space uh, where I can put the floor in uh, but leave a gap of air so moisture and humidity will not affect uh, the wood uh, of the floor so I will try to, to work on that uh, and uh, I think it will take uh, all day also because uh, this morning I went to buy some uh, materials uh, to, to do so, so it's already midday, so I just have half a day to work. Let's get into it. It started raining again, 
the battery of the camera I was using to film the time lapse died the battery died and I'm soaked I'm completely wet everything is wet so I managed to do this 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 side clean up here a little bit and uh, tomorrow hopefully if it's not raining I will finish this this and this but here I need to put some steel so I need to cut uh, two bars uh, and uh, tie them uh, before putting the cement so this part will be strong I will call it for the day hopefully tomorrow it's not raining and I can uh, finish this see you tomorrow beautiful people ciao we are mixing the cement with some rocks first of all because we will use less cement in this way and because we want to use a local material we are not lucky at all with the weather during these days it's starting it has already started to rain again it's very very difficult to go ahead when it's raining like this and we have no cover because you know we are pretty distant from the main house Okay, this is done and now we'll start installing and then painting our wood cladding. Yes, the first uh, wall, the one that will go over there. We bought something really smart, a portable spray gun, finally. So I hope that we will be faster. This time we bought a two centimeters thick wood cladding. So this is thicker and is stronger than the one that we use for the gazebo or for the interior of Luigi. Of course, we would like something that will be durable, that will last a long time. Our mentality is always when you build something, you build it the right way. Good, right measurement, let's keep cutting. As you can see here, the wall is not uh, square, so we need to cut every single piece uh, to fit. We will install the shed on the rock. We are making good progress, <laughs> so I'm feeling good. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. There is a dorm house. I know that you want to come inside in our house. I see you, little friend. It's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. So the idea is uh, to leave one meter door over here. It will have no windows, uh, 
the door will have no windows uh, everything will be closed because this is a storage so we don't want uh, we don't need uh, light uh, coming in uh, we don't need uh, people seeing inside at this moment who knows in the future who knows in the future maybe we'll put some windows uh, a bed uh. <laughs> and i just compare the time that we spend for the cement for making the cement and then for the wood with building with the wood is so cool because you can see the result pretty fast you know in italy we build everything with bricks, and, bricks cement. and cement and it takes months and with wood is just so fast compared to the way italians build stuff houses yes but uh, wood uh, after some yes. years uh, it'll, uh, it will disintegrate I'm preparing the underfloor so this <laughs> will be the support uh, that will support uh, the, the flooring down here and um, I'm putting these uh, reinforcements in the middle so it will not uh, bend it's all nice and level this uh, flooring will be nice and dry now it's a little bit wet because uh, there is no roof uh, so it rain uh, in here but once uh, we will have a roof uh, water will never reach uh, this area down here so it will be nice and dry again the news of today is that it's raining always raining amazing Ooh, it's huge I love it I love it I love it What a disaster last night. Luca completed and finished and did an amazing job with the flooring two days ago. And yesterday we had to go to Torino for an appointment. And a storm, a huge, severe storm hit Torino and the surrounding area. Hailstorm was like, there were rivers on the road. I have never seen something like this in this area in Italy and it was really bad.
we barely made it back home luckily everybody's safe we are safe there were some minor damages in uh, in torino the tarp collapsed and the water went inside a little house or shed and now the floor is completely damaged hopefully today with the sun everything will dry, dry. yeah but it's a pity because it was, it was perfect. perfect well done are you disappointed yeah i'm really sad i'm really sorry It's gonna be a fine day today, I can see. It's gonna be a fine day today, I can see. It's gonna be a fine day today for you and me. It's gonna be a fine day today. Okay, Sarah, let's show them what we are doing. We need to mark this wood cladding and I need you to come from the other side. You always need me. Yes, I always need you. And I need you. <laughs> so, the, this wood cladding, we are marking it because we need to make this wood go through. So we need to make a lot of details uh, in order to do so. So I don't know how to explain it. I know how to do it. I've been uh, thinking for a few days uh, how to do this thing. So we will try to show you through a time lapse or through a video and uh, let's try. It's the first time I'm trying uh, attempting to do so. So I don't know what the result will be, but uh, it's nice to try and do something for the first time. It's a learning process. Guys, let us know in the comments the last time you did something for the first time. Last piece for today. Yes. We left 80 centimeters from this side so we can have a cover, a roof, also outside the little shed. Little, the huge shed. We removed the two parts that were, you know, out of place. And probably Luca will need to remove this part as well and restart from from this point on. And then from tomorrow on we'll have a roof, we will build a roof. I will paint outside and inside. Well well done Lucchino. Last piece for the day. The details are these uh, travetti yeah. going inside also over there. Meaning that the wood cladding on the roof will be all at the same level. Yes, yeah. and it will be closed uh, everywhere. It yeah. will not be any part. Uh, now we open. have to close the box. Yes. I like the shape of the shed. I like that it's, you know, kind of following the terraces that we have on our land. Yes, uh, the angle is, uh, is the same one of the terraces. Yeah. So it really follows uh, that and also in the future if we want, uh, would be nice to put on top of it uh, a garden, like mm -hmm. uh, some grass uh, and some flowers. Uh, but for now, it will be okay like this.
again guys it's raining super hard it's really hard to keep working like this because we start and then after two three hours we need to stop and cover everything again so the weather is just killing us making so much damage and even in germany north of italy and germany this is not the weather that we expect in summer this is it's crazy this rain uh, is ruining everything it's impossible to work like this And here we are again. Let's see if today we will be luckier with the weather. It seems really sunny. We already started the roof again. Look, how do you feel today? I feel good. Let's hope uh, to finish it today. <laughs> it's about time. Okay, guys. Fingers crossed. something we want to do it right we try our best we try our best <laughs> yes exactly not, not every time we manage to do it no but Perfect. the intention is to try to make our best in every situation This is uh, Sara's new way to paint. Uh, she's having a lot of fun uh, doing it. I'm working on these two things. So I'm screwing uh, everything uh, like this. And uh, I still need to put a piece over there. I painted the entire little shed and Luca did this amazing job on the side of the little house and now he's fixing the floor. Remember that we have this problem with the rain so you probably may ask why rule number one never put the floor before you put the roof on that's right but Luca said the floor inside the shed is so uneven and if we need to and we need to use the ladder to install the roof then it would be really dangerous so I said I prefer to have a flat area where we can work on and that's why in every project you made some mistakes it's normal to make mistakes we you learn, you learn. You learn from this, so next time we will be able to build a perfect house. Yeah. And the flooring is fixed. Well done. Well done, yeah, well. We had to redo it, but now it's fixed. We are looking for some inspiration for our door. We are figuring out uh, how Sara wants uh, every single piece. Oh, 
beautiful, I love it. Look at this beautiful pink sky, half moon, and our shed, our new shed. We have transformed our old rotten chicken coop into a shed. We have transformed. We destroy it and we have built a new fantastic shed. I really love it. And for today's episode is everything. We hope you like it. Uh, if so, please show it to us uh, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. And let us know in the comments if you like our new shed. The Italian words for today's video are Progetto Project Sfida Challenge Tempesta Storm Progetto Project Sfida <laughs> Challenge Tempesta Storm we love you, beautiful people. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us and stay, stay with tuned, us. Stay tuned because uh, next Sunday we will hit the road again and we will be starting a new adventure. So you will have a lot of fun with us. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. Ah! An insect attacked me. The forecasts. So yesterday is starter. We transform an old kitchen cube cube no kitchen cube we have transformed 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 we have transformed <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> i want to sleep we hope you uh, liked uh, today's <laughs> we have transformed our old rotten kitchen <laughs>